Jesus, Eddie, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable course. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run, there's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain Kenway. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. Lo tengo a tiro. 
¡Moved el trasero ya! ¡Lo tengo justo en la vida! Stay close, Edward. ¿Está escondido? Quizá no haya huido.
¡Cañón! ¡Yo he avanzado mi señal! ¡Pólvora seca! ¡Puedes el barco! ¡Rápido! ¡No tiene escapatoria! Jan Numuk Awo Yetel Apinshan. And once more you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting out, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. I'm sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd not be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing, drinking, and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison. I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were and passed out in the hold from drink. I tried. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch. All the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you fear that too? All empty inside. I do. Devil curse me. I know my targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But well, you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, don't be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bonnie. Call it out. Way anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary and Rackham... Thank you. 
Seems you could use a little help disappearing, friend. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat. Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol. of the coral. Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggiero Ferraro. Hi, Mr. Ferraro. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as Governor of the Bahamas. For under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the King's pardon and swore fealty to the crown. And yet, for all my sickness, His Majesty has been fit. I brought those brutes in Nassau to heal, by God, and this is the thanks I get. Unbelievable. Damn right, you know. And if it's the character we get to me, I'm glad you send her a letter in the hall. 
You've a bloody nerve. Be careful. Name the manner, sir, in which I have offended you. He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. Here, at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe. Dear God! Yeah, I've got to get away from here! Dear God, I've got to get away from here. Italian! He did it! It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa.
Trouble, Captain! There'll be more of the dogs, sir! Survivor here, sir! Here's one still kicking! Who did this? It were a large vessel. The Royal Fortune. Roberts. Offered no quarter. Didn't say nothing.
Hey, servant boss! Is me now, eh? Is it a spectre come to spook me? Ah, you're the gaunt remains of a man I sent to hell.
you paid me. May the best of we two sing praises of the second. And a short one, as promised. How well I know myself. And what of you, Edward? Have you found the peace you seek? I'm not aiming so high as that. For what's peace but a confusion between two wars? Oh, oh you're a stoic then. Or perhaps I was wrong about you. She might have had some use for you after all. She? Of whom do you speak? Oh, she who lies in wait. Entombed. I had hoped to find her, to see her again. To open the door of the temple and hear her speak my name once more. I... Talk sense, man. Oh, I was born too soon. Like so many others before. Where's the device, Robert? Ah... Uh, uh. Ah, uh, destroy this body, Edward. The Templars. If they take... 
take me. 